Welcome back to it of Yao. My name is Yao and it's a pleasure to see you all. How are you guys? I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are well. A lot has changed. A lot has been going on. As you heard from the hunting in the intro of this video, I have lost my voice. I went to see Rita Ora on uh, the Friday. Then I went out on the Saturday. Um, and I used Sunday to kind of recover. And today is Monday, but my voice is still reaping the effects of my behavior. But I had fun. It was really nice to go and see Rita live. She is actually amazing. Amazing. I was like, wow, I got my life and more. As you can hear from my voice, it's still a little bit croggy, but we are getting back to optimum health, okay? So, for this video, I was so excited when I heard that this was launching. I saw it on Instagram and recently, as you guys have probably been seeing, there have been so many drag queens in um, collaborations, in campaigns, really being embraced by the makeup community and it's only fit. Why? Because they have contributed so much to makeup. Like a lot of makeup today is a mild version of drag. Like the contouring, the heavy highlighting, all the powders, the, the even this uh, these type of defined harsh brows it's all a mild version of drag you know and so many tips you know baking the reverse contouring so many tips and tricks that we use and we just take it for granted had drag queens not been around we wouldn't even know of those techniques so toodles to the drag queens you're doing your thing and it's beautiful to see that drag queens are getting that acknowledgement and are being included in the makeup in the mainstream makeup world absolutely amazing so, as you know, Anastasia has collaborated with Alyssa Edwards, the Alyssa Edwards, and we are going to get into some things. This is what the PR package looks like. Oh my god! So extra, so over the top, so Alyssa, so drag, fleeky brows, glitter lashes, like the fat. I got my life when I saw this. The PR package, you know what? And the Stars' PR packages are bomb and they are lit. I literally have a specific place where I store them and they don't see sunlight. Like, they are so beautiful, I need to cherish them. So this, after I finish with this, filming with this, I'm going to hold on to the palette, but the actual package itself is going to go somewhere special. So, when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. Oh my god. Anastasia loves a big package. So these are the three items you get. You get the palette. You get the fan, and you get the mirror. This is what the mirror looks like. Boop. Boop. It says beast on it. Now I'm gonna show you the fan. Anastasia, I'm gonna try and do the fan, okay. Okay, struggle. Wait, again. Woo! <laughs> I felt like a queen. I felt like a, woo, child. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Do you know what? This is actually everything. <laughs> Do you know what? I've had this package. I feel as though I've had this package for three days and I've never actually done it like, yes! I feel like a queen. Alyssa has me feeling my whole entire fantasy, honey. Get into the gig. This is how the palette looks. Absolutely stunning. It has her... Um, signature here, her name with a little love heart, always and forever Alyssa Edwards, which is one of her um, catchphrases, I believe. Anastasia Beverly Hills in the front with the lashes and the brows, gorgeous. Now let's open up the palette and show you the colours inside. Oh my god, guys! Pigmented shades. You've got so you've got the yellow, you've got blues, purples so pigmented and they've also added a matte black oh my goodness gracious me i cannot stand when a palette doesn't have a matte black and they even have a matte white <laughs> they did that these are drag staples if you don't have a matte white and a matte black who even are you also with Alyssa's palette came this eye primer here i did touch a little bit on the back of my hand and i must say it is looking promising I love a very light concealer as my eyeshadow base and this one is very similar to that. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get into the eyes and we're just going to get this whole beat going and get slayed to the gods and goddesses and back to earth. So far, blending this eye primer out, it's almost like a concealer. It's definitely quite opaque, it's quite thick, which I do really like. It's definitely gonna give me that color payoff that I want. However, it is drying. It is drying quite quickly now. I'm actually liking it so far. Also guys, I would like to stress that a little bit goes a long, long 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 way so guys i'm gonna be dipping into this vibrant pink shade here it's called texas made and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of map out my crease i've noticed that whenever i have an idea in my mind and i stick to it it always comes up looking good whereas when i end up going against that it can sometimes go a little bit sour not all the time but sometimes yeah we happy with that just gonna go ahead and replicate that on the other side because girl, we need to be symmetrical. I'll be back. So now that we have that pigment packed on, I'm gonna take a slightly larger brush and I'm gonna diffuse the edges. Just going in circular motions. So I've tried to diffuse it out as much as I can. I would say that maybe because of the base, it's not diffusing as well as it might usually diffuse, but it's still a decent blend. So now I'm gonna dip into dream it which is this vibrant blue shade here it does look a lot more blue more of like a royal blue but it does have like a purple undertone to it so now i'm placing it just where that pink is it's definitely giving me more of a purpley sort of tone and so i'm going to take that blue and i'm just going to stamp it on the outer v like that now all i'm doing is diffusing that royal blue into the pink Okay, so this is the blend that we are working with and it is now time to cut the crease. So I'm gonna be taking the same eye primer. I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm literally just gonna start cutting away. Sketch out a very basic, and then I'm gonna look up. That's gonna help me to decide how high up I want my crease to be. Perfect, so now that we have the cut crease on the leak, I'm going to dip into headliner, which is the matte white here. Next, we're going to dip into brick road, which is this matte yellow shade here. Ooh! Hoo-hoo! Hey! Pigment! It's not often you find a pigmented yellow. Before blending out the last shade, I need to quickly go ahead and blend out the edge of this eye primer. It has dried down and it's not blending out too easily. So now we're gonna dip back into Texas Made, which is the vibrant pink shade. We're gonna pop that on the outer part. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the edges of the pink into the blue. Just put in a little bit of that blue on the brush. So this is how the eyes are looking right now. I've decided not to go in with any black. That would just darken it and it would Take away the brightness, I want it to stay really bright. Now you guys know that I love a nice, sharp, crisp line. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my baby wipe. Of course I'm gonna go ahead with some concealer as we get into the face to help clean it up even further. But this will do for now. Perfect, so now moving on to base. Now you guys know I'm not too big on primers. However, this one I've tried a few times and I live. This is the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer. It's absolutely Gorgeous, it actually hydrates really well. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. It is quite jelly. It's quite intriguing to even look at. It's like very, it, it is jelly. And I found that that works best when you use a little bit of this primer. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Of course, I'm gonna place it mainly in the central parts of my face. I don't wanna apply too much now. Very hydrating very nice so i've allowed that to set into the skin for a couple of minutes while i went and washed my beauty sponge because we do not reuse dirty beauty sponges we just don't do it moving on to foundation i'm going to be taking the nars natural long wear radiant foundation this is in the shade of marley i've been actually really liking this foundation recently it definitely gives me a really nice smooth finish so i'm going to use the back of my hand as a palette so that i'm able to control the amount I'm putting on the face, literally just dipping into that. 
Do you know what? I feel like I repeat myself a lot. <laughs> And it's something that I need to stop doing. Like I've probably said that in every video. I've probably said it a million times. Oh, I like to use my hand as a pilot. Like, girl, don't repeat yourself. The girls get the message. As always for contour, I'm gonna take my tilt foundation in the shade 120 and just carve out my cheekbones, below my jaw, and the corner of my forehead. All right, moving on to concealer. We're gonna dip into the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Chocolate. I've actually not used this concealer in a hot second, but I'm being reminded of how full coverage this concealer is. Wow. Do you know what? For me, I know that a concealer is full coverage when I find it difficult to blend out on the nose. For whatever reason, the really full coverage concealers they're not easiest to blend out on the nose with a brush like this. Okay. So this is a pressed powder. If you guys have been following me, you've never seen me use a pressed face powder on this channel, so I believe. If I have, it, it may be two years ago. This is the MUA Pro Base Matte Full Coverage Pressed Powder. This is how it looks and it's in the shade 182. Oh my god, when I say it makes your face so smooth, I'm not kidding. So I like to use this powder as my, almost like a base, just to make everything quite smooth and then to put a little bit of translucent powder under the eyes in certain places where I absolutely need it. So I'm going to be dipping into this and what I do is I literally just take my sponge and I swirl it in there. So smooth, it's literally like, it looks like butter. I do think that I need to try it in another shade because it might be making my highlighted areas a little bit darker than they should be. And with this powder, I really feel like you can build it up before it starts to look cakey. You can really build up this powder. It just looks so beautiful. Now I'm gonna go into my translucent powder. This is the one from um, Ben Nye. I just put in any lid to that. The traffic today is mad. I put it in any lid so that it just makes it easier to use. Just gonna make sure those areas are really set. So as you can see, your girl is back and the rest of the face is set. I went and set the perimeters of the face with my Ben Nye Translucent Powder in the shade Ebony. And then I used a shade from the Be Perfect X Stacey Marie Carnival Palette almost as like a bronzer contour sort of situation. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and finish off the eyes. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do my inner corners. You all know that I live for a nice inner corner. And as we went for a white shadow, I'm gonna go and match that up with a white liner for the inner corner. So I'm gonna take my white liner from Stargazer and I'm literally just gonna slay those inner corners. So now that the inner corners are slayed, it's time to move on to lashes. These are the VVS Lashes in the Style Empress. I haven't tried lashes from this brand before, but I'm really excited to see how it looks on the eye. I'm gonna apply these off camera because applying lashes on camera is <laughs> it's a task. <laughs> and we ain't trying to go through no tasks, okay? So, I'll be back in a moment. So this is how the lashes are looking. They're actually looking super cute. I'm actually really liking the fluffiness that it's giving me. It doesn't look too dispersed on the eye which is quite nice. It's definitely a nice addition to the look. So now we're gonna move on to highlight. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette and we are gonna be dipping, ooh, these shades. I kind of dropped this palette the other day so the shades wanna fall out. So I need to um, super glue them back in. But it's this shade here that I'm gonna be dipping into. It looks more pinky on camera, um, even in person, but it definitely has like a golden sheen to it, a golden reflex, so I'm gonna be dipping into that. And of course, just slaying the high points of the face as we do on a regular, like, what is new, sis? Are you guys seeing that? We are actually glowing. I really like the way that looks on the skin. I wanna talk a little bit about, oh. It's such a habit for me now. Whenever something happens unexpected, I'm like, ooh, all the time. I'm like, ooh, I'm happy with this bit. Let's have a look, let's have a look. <laughs> all right, it's time for some, um, it's time for lips. For a second, I was thinking to do a white liner for my Cupid's bow, as I do with some of my looks, but 
Instead, I'm gonna go in with um, highlighter. And now I'm going to use some matte liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I definitely wanna go in with this one because it's gonna match the eye color. I've decided these are the two I'm gonna use. And I might add a little bit of like a shimmer on top, bless it. So this is in the shade Nocturnal. We're gonna use this on the outermost part of the lip. Just blending the two together. Okay, now the face is more or less complete. Thank God. It's time to set the face. I'm gonna use the Dewy Setting Spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Mine is running out, it's down to here. You're gonna need to top up, but let's go ahead and get into it. Just gonna, boom. Oof. So as you can see, we have completed the look. I'm feeling my diva fantasy. Got my fan in hand, lip ombre, <laughs> snatched, eye pigmented to the gods and goddesses and back to earth. I'm absolutely living for this look. I love this collection. The PR package, amazing. The fan, amazing. The um, actual palette itself, gorgeous. Very pigmented shades, as you can see. Shows up really nicely on the eye. Absolutely gorgeous. I kind of already thought to myself, this is gonna be a collaboration that I love. It's probably one of the best um, makeup collaborations I've actually tried. Um, and the shades, the blendability, I really like the palette, point blank period. And one thing that I was actually quite surprised about, I'm not gonna lie, this eye primer is absolutely amazing. I'm definitely gonna be using this all the time for my eyeshadow base. It gives me a, um, it doesn't dry down too much to the point where I can't pack colors down. They still pack on really, really, really nicely. Um, it's really pigmented, very light, um, which is what I like, so that the colors show up true to color as much as they can. I don't know what more to say. I'm actually really pleased with this collaboration. I'm so happy that they have collaborated with a drag queen, that they've collaborated with Alyssa Edwards, iconic queen. I'm just so happy that, um, I'm so happy that the industry is really acknowledging the contributions of drag queens and really including them and making them more mainstream and really pushing it forward. So um, on that note, I love the collaboration. I love, I love everything about this. I don't think I said this in the intro, but I'm gonna say it now. If you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you are first to be notified whenever Mother uploads a brand new video. Make sure to hit that like button, it shows me your support, also helps to rank the video a little bit higher or whatever. And leave in the comment section what you will, if you've tried it, if you want to try it, what you would like to see next in the makeup world. There's so many things I would love to see, but maybe we'll make a video talking about that. Anyway, without further ado, I've got to get on, edit this video and get it up. And so, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Mwah.